Giannis Papp is here for Two Point Lead. I'm sitting here with Tracy Austin, former world number one, two-time US Open champion, and the youngest person ever to win the US Open at 16. You won it at 16. Who drove you home? Who drove me home? My mom. Yeah, I was 16. I think I did have my driver's license, but uh, my mom drove me to and from. Did you go to school the next day after 16? Actually, two days later, I did the media rounds of Good Morning America and the Today Show, and then flew home and went to school on that Tuesday. Now, America is ranked 14th in education. Donald Trump is the front runner for the Republican nomination, and we don't have a American male in the top 10. Is America over? Well, we have Serena Williams. Serena Williams, the number one player in, in women's tennis and probably the greatest player ever in the history of women's tennis. And if she wins the US Open, she'd only be the sixth player in the history of tennis to do that. So the women are holding this up. Serena, and in soccer, it was the, the women winning the World Cup. We, it's the women holding up America right now. Always uh, Women are always behind something good like that. Now you mentioned that you think Serena's the best. You think Serena's better than Steffi? It's so difficult to compare the different generations. And of course, Serena Williams right now is at 21 singles Grand Slam titles. Steffi Groff, 22 singles Grand Slam titles. I think it's very ironic that if Serena wins the US Open, she'll tie Steffi and be the first person since Steffi Groff to win the calendar year Grand Slam. The key there is though that Serena's not nearly done. She's so dominant right now. You think you could beat her? Serena? Do I think I could beat Serena? If she was really, really, really off, <laughs> you know, not not now at my age, but uh, that's what, what's so fun about watching Serena. You have all these, uh, these tournaments that you have to play before the Grand Slams. When you make it to the quarterfinals and semifinals and finals, you've already played so many matches, sometimes the next day. How much does stamina play in being a great tennis player? It's a huge part. I mean, it's a long season for tennis players, 10, 10 months. And of course, they're playing into their 30s as well. And that's why you're seeing players using the, the, the better training methods, using uh, modalities like KT tape. KT tape is an elastic sports tape that you'll see the players use. James Harden, the NBA All-Star. You see Kerry Walsh, the, the volleyball player, put it on her shoulder. It looks cool too. It looks cool, the different colors, and it's for muscle soreness, it's for injuries, it's for injury prevention, um, and it's also for recovering from injuries as well. The grunting. Nobody likes it. The crowd's got to be silent. Right, But That's the a tennis good point. player can make a lot of noise. That's a good point. Is it distracting, and is that a double standard? I think it's distracting to the opponent, and I also think it's turning a lot of fans off. You know, they said a couple of years ago they were going to try to get the younger players coming up to try to not grunt. I don't know how you monitor. I don't know how you stop that. You know, for me, I don't know. I think I'd get a sore throat. <laughs> so when, who was the biggest grunter you, you played against? Grunting wasn't big then. Monica Seles was the first one that really grunted. Today, I think it's Victoria Azarenka. <laughs> Her grunt is lengthy. Her grunt continues as the ball is still crossing the net. And when she plays Maria Sharapova, it gets very loud. Finally, who do you have winning the men's? Who do you have winning the women's US Open? For the women, I'm going to go with Serena, going out on a limb, right, <laughs> right? But, um, you know, she's got a lot of pressure. Got think some about, good Vegas odds. Good Vegas odds, but think about the pressure that she's under. This probably won't happen again in her career, that she has three legs already under her belt of the Grand Slam. So this is her time. It's now or never for this. And on the men's, that's a little more difficult. I'm going to go with Novak. Thank you very much, Thank Tracy you. Austin.